This video covers how to quote outside sources in APA style. It will address three topics, why to quote, how to quote, and when to quote. So why do I need to quote outside sources? Quoting outside sources is a fundamental aspect of college writing. A source is any piece of writing or media or interview that you use for the information it contains. As an undergraduate student, you are generally not an expert in the field you are studying, and you probably haven't done any of your own research or studies. So you have to rely on the expertise and the research of others. Properly quoting and citing men become vital so that you give credit to the authors whose work you're using. And quoting from experts gives your writing credibility and validates the information you are presenting. So how do I quote sources in APA? The rule is that any words you take directly from another person, whether written or spoken, need to have quotation marks put around them, and they need to be properly cited. Citations will be covered in the next video. For now, let's just focus on how to format the quotes themselves. So here I have a journal article with information about aardvarks that I want to use in my research paper. I have identified a quote from the text that I want to use. It is a nocturnal animal that burrows relatively deeply in underground shelters. Now, when I use those exact words in my paper, I must put quotation marks around them to show that someone else wrote it. Keep in mind that you don't need to quote an entire sentence necessarily. If you just want to include a portion of a sentence into your paper, that's fine but you still have to put quotation marks around the words you use from the source. In this case, in order to make the quote make sense in my sentence, I'm starting with the aardvark instead of the word it. Because the word aardvark is not in the original quote, I can just put quotation marks where the word-for-word -word quote starts and stops. If the quote is 40 words or longer, it needs to be formatted as a block quote. Block quotes are introduced with a sentence followed by a colon. Drop down to the next line and indented. And with the block format, you omit the quotation marks. If you need to change a word in the quotation or leave some words out, you can, as long as you don't change the meaning. For example, if I wanted to change the word it in this quote to aardvark so it's more clear to my reader, I can put brackets where the word it was in the sentence and insert the word aardvark. This lets the reader know that I've changed a word from the original source. If I want to skip a few words, I can use ellipses, the three dots, to indicate that some words are missing from the original quote. Once the quote is in place, it's usually a good idea to introduce the source you are citing as a lead-in to the quote. This is called a signal phrase. This can give your reader a bit of context for the quote. It is a good idea to include the title of the source sometimes, too. This is especially true if you will be citing from a source many times in your paper. If the title of an article or short work is used, it should have quotation marks around it. Titles of books journals, newspapers, and other longer works, pretty much anything that you could stand up on a shelf, should be italicized. When should I use direct quotes? To reiterate, quotation marks should be used around any phrases or sentences you take directly from an outside source. However, APA actually prefers for you to paraphrase information as much as possible. If there's a quote you want to include just for the factual information it contains, like what you would find in a scientific journal article, then it's usually best to condense that information by putting it into your own words, which is called paraphrasing. This is especially true of long quotations. Long quotations, like those in a block quote, are typically reserved for passages that need to be analyzed in detail, or where the exact wording is vital to the meaning like if you were analyzing the writing of a great author in literature. 
The typical sources you will be using in an APA paper, though, will be much more straightforward, so you can usually condense and summarize several sentences without losing any of the meaning. So instead of this long block quote, let's paraphrase it so we condense the information and make it more relevant for my paper. This sentence summarizes the point that is most relevant. It is also best to avoid using too many direct quotes. If you have more than a couple word-for-word -word quotes in a research paper in APA, it may look like you are just filling up space or that you don't really understand the information. Remember that papers are assigned in college as a way of gauging your understanding of the subject matter. If the majority of an essay is quoted, you may not be adequately demonstrating your mastery of the subject. Whether you are quoting directly or paraphrasing information from an outside source, you need to provide a proper citation to give the author credit for his or her work. How to properly cite sources is covered in the next video. Happy writing!